in the design process, you're sitting there like, yeah, this is kind of a great idea. And uh, you just don't think about <laughs> how much effort it takes to put an opening, two openings in the ceiling joist and then in the roof above. Hey everyone, welcome to part 15 of the North Wing series. Today we're gonna to be talking about ceiling joists, getting ready for roofs, super exciting. Before I hop out to the field and talk about some of the intricacies of adding something like a skylight to this project, I did wanna quickly jump into Revit and sort of show you the concept structurally of what these things are, and then we'll see how they were built. So again, here's the North Wing project. The footprint of this project is roughly uh, 20 foot four by 18 foot three or so. Um, so essentially in this direction, we're running basically 20-ish feet. Uh, this is a vented attic um, with a non-structural ridge. So these ceiling joists will act as ties to hold it all together. There'll also be some rafter ties, but to hold it, hold it all together. And so uh, at 20 feet, um, you could have sort of overlapped two by sixes at the bearing wall like we did below, um, but I decided to go with 20 foot long two by sixes to sort of um, really maintain that that tensile strength. Um, and so if I zoom in here, you'll see, you know, these are these are two by sixes uh, running the whole length until you get to these these uh, skylights. So the first thing I did want to talk about a little bit um, is, again, one of those things where you think about it uh, ahead of time uh, or think about it as the architect uh, makes sense structurally, right? You want to you know, keep that tensile strength as much as possible. But when it comes to building it, <laughs> one thing that you may not think about is how much more of a pain it is to carry a 20 foot long board versus a two by six or versus a 12 foot long board and get it up onto a second level and so on and so forth. As you can see in this little time lapse here, this is me um, loading up the 20 foot long two by sixes up into the you know 14, 15 feet into the window. Uh, my father pulls it through. And uh, I think there was uh, 20 or 30 of them or more than that. Um, and so just again, one of those things when you sit there and you think about it, like seems like a good idea, but maybe it would have been easier to load them up uh, differently. And actually coming, you know, when it comes to material loading, as I continue bringing these up, the other thing we, had, we thought about too was roof sheathing um, and getting up there. So what we were doing here, and I don't think I had a video of it, is we were actually bringing the roof sheathing up to the floor level uh, before we even built the exterior walls completely. Um, and then from there, we kind of brought them up to the ceiling joists. And then from there, we sort of brought them up to the, we plan on bringing them up to the roof rafters. And so just again, something to think about uh, as we're going through this project, uh, you know, loading materials. Um, if you're a one or two man crew versus maybe four or five man crew, um, just, you know, something to think about even as you're designing, maybe there's a way to, uh, make that a little more efficient or easier on your on your body or your your production schedule. Okay, so you can see these are these are the 20 foot, you know, these are the kind of 20 foot boards here. Um, it is interrupted by a, a two by 10 header um, right here, uh, which is going to give you a reason to have some joist hangers here. And that's because the the bathroom wall tucks back the sort of a little alcove to allow more natural light into the bedroom. You know, unfortunately, because of all all of the interruptions to it, um, you know, we've got sort of these double these, these double two buys running across it. Um, and then we've got a little bit of interruption, but that's kind of the part of the reason why I wanted to keep as many as many two by 10, uh, two by six by 20s as possible because there's a whole bunch of interruptions between it. So as we jump into the actual time lapse of these going up, um, actually wasn't that bad once everything, all these two by sixes were up there, getting them up there obviously was a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, but once we marked layout, um, marked layout on the top sills here, uh, it was just a matter of um, flipping them up uh, tacking them in and then moving on one by one by one as we sort of go across this piece here. And so um, here's a little time lapse of us doing this. So again, just a matter of flipping them up. What we ended up doing is we actually, instead of um, doubling doubling up at the skylights um, and, and stopping at the bearing wall, we just ended up sort of just, just doubling it across the whole thing. Why not? So a little extra rigidity, a little extra strength, um, had plenty of the wood. So here I was actually using a screw gun to sort of tack them in. Um, um, it was definitely easier uh, to, to, to screw gun one side and then maybe hit the other side with the nail gun so they didn't kick all over the place. You know, there's no rafters here to stop it. But um, overall, um, you know, we were able to just not cut them and throw them up there at 20 feet because of the dimensioning, um, using some clamps here to keep them together. But, you know, this this is pretty pretty straightforward all the way until we got to that point where we're doing the where we're doing the joist hangers and the header. Now, over at this side, you can see we have the header there. It's a two, two by two, two by 10 header. Um, and now, obviously, we got to do some cuts. Uh, we got to tack in some joist hangers and here I am doing some joist hangers. And as you know, from the re pre previous video before joist hangers are not fun. Um, this is one of the few occasions where I was able to, um, put them up, uh, and use the positive nailing framer to, uh, to actually use the, the nail gun. Most of the time, um, I, I didn't have to use a hammer the whole time, which was kind of nice. Um, so you can see, we we're just kind of putting those in as we we're going up. So simple, simple little joist hangers there. 
And so now before we jump out to the field, if you guys enjoy seeing this video series and want to see um, the templates for like Revit, maybe the Revit file or the scheduling template or the cost and estimating templates, um, then definitely head on over to community.bimafterdark.com. If you become a member of the community, um, you get access to all that information completely free. Um, now let's jump out to the field and I'm just going to talk a little bit about those skylights and then show um, so how those how those impacted simple, simple ceiling framing. All right, so I'm up here on the main level. So you can see behind me, we've got our ceiling joists in, which you've already seen. Um, and I'm about to do uh, two skylights. And so it's funny because in the design process, you're sitting there like, yeah, skylight's a great idea. This is the north side of the, pro the project, it's the bathroom. I really love the idea of a skylight in the shower and a skylight over the tub. Um, they're pretty small, they're 22 inch or 20, 20 inch by 20 inch, 22 inch, whatever. The rough opening is 22 and a half by 22 and a half. And uh, you just don't think about <laughs> how much effort it takes to put an opening, two openings in the ceiling joist and then in the roof above. So just one of those things as I'm sitting here getting ready to do this and planning it out. Um, it's incredible how much, how much effort little tiny things like a skylight or joist hangers or those kind of things can actually add to, to the, the productivity of a project. So just something to keep in mind. That's the architect and the builder side of my brain sort of fighting each other a little bit, but either way, I'm getting the skylights in no matter what. So let's go, let's go do it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, uh, hit the thumbs up so you get notifications for the next one. And in the next video, we're going to be doing rafters and seeing if we hit the 28 day uh, deadline to watertight this thing. So cheers. See you guys next time.